Compassion is related to the neurotransmitters in the brain and certain cells, the mirror neurons, are hyperactive in empaths, meaning they're working overtime because empaths feel so much compassion for everybody and everything. Um, and so there, there are mirror neurons in our brain wired in our physiology that help to allow us to feel compassion. As this is a missing piece of information for health, for wellness, uh, for your emotions, for your well-being, everything. Your body can vibrate with what's happening because it's energy sensitive. And that's a form of empathy. And it's so much fun uh, compared to just living in your head, which is not that fun at all. <laughs> you know, if all schools, if all children knew how to come together, bring themselves together when they're you know, all scattered or, you know, on a sugar high or whatever, their parents are feeding them sugar, to bring it together with their hands, close their eyes. <sighs> I feel me. There's a higher self in me that I feel, that I connect to, and I'm strong again when I connect. And to be able to teach students to come from, feel their hearts, to reconnect with their inner selves through their hearts, it's very easy to teach. And coming from the heart is the most important thing. You know, being a good person, most important thing. You know, not all this spiritual narcissism, not all this big, you know, lights and whistles. And it's just simple. It's just about you connecting and you know how connected you feel. And being in your heart is what allows you to connect to other people, not just um, what their beliefs are, but who they are. And it allows you to bridge differences because you're able to see through your heart, not just through your head. The problem is if you see with your head, you're not seeing the whole picture. And the heart goes beyond all the chatter. How do I work with this and flow with it as opposed to being brought down by it and upset by it? So it's an ongoing spiritual practice is working with emotions.